back with another video folks where we're going to be looking at this product photography setup we're going to walk through the lighting setup using the block prop sets from pixel pro and their j17 backgrounds to hopefully give you guys some sort of creative ideas to use in your product photography now we're going to start it off with a simple setup but we're going to go into another shoot where we're going to be a bit more elaborate using the 3d block props now these block props all come already painted white ready for you to use now i am going to produce a video showing you how you can prep them and paint them to create different looks to your images in another video so consider subscribing and flicking the notification bell so you can see when those are posted but for now we're just going to keep the first shoot nice and simple using the white block prop and the backgrounds from Pixar Pro. So I'm going to walk you through the lighting setup. I'm going to show you exactly what I've done. We'll take a couple of shots and I'll show you the effects of these lights as we progress. Now we're only going to use two lights on this setup and keeping it nice and easy. So let's talk about the main light and that's going to be the City 600. Now we're shooting that bare. We've got no modifier on that. We've just got the bare bulb and that's going to be firing through this scrim. Now this is just tracing paper which I've attached to a frame. Normally I would just hang the roller tracing paper down here but it means setting up another stand and I am limited for space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shot just using that backlight and show you exactly what's happening in the scene. So we'll do that now. I'll tell you guys the camera settings. We are at f11, 1 1 60th of a second ISO 100. Now normally I would be setting up on a tripod and shooting especially for product photography but for the purpose of this video and the limited space I'm just going to hand hold it. So like I said normally on a tripod for product photography is a must. So let's take the first shot. So what I'm looking for is just symmetry in this image. I'm looking for the papers to run right across the angles of the block and to get the watch nicely in the centre. And as you can see from that shot, just using that one light, obviously making some nice shadow definition from the box as well. Now, if you want to define that shadow a little bit more, you can move that light right close to the scrim, so the bulb's almost touching the scrim. And what that's going to do is give you a harsher shadow fall off. I'll take a picture and show you. So you can see there, that shadow is a lot more defined. Now that comes down to taste, that's however you like the look of the image. Personally, I'm going to pull it back a little bit more, just so we'll have a little bit of a softer look to the overall image. So I've only moved it away about five inches off the scrim. So that's my preference, I like the look of that. It just gives it a little bit of depth in the image. So next what I want to do is I want to create a nice bit of light and come across this front of the bracelet. Now these are really highly reflective uh, watches, the bracelets. So what I'm going to do, if you haven't seen the first video I made using the block prop sets, I'll pop a link to a card up here, you can go and check that out. And I use my own homemade little diffusion panels and speed lights and I found this very effective in shooting in small spaces like this. I'm going to show you the effects and show you a little technique that I use to get the best out of these small modifiers because ideally you want another big scrim sitting here with another box behind it to get a really nice soft light coming across the product but i found this to be nice and effective so i'll show you what i mean i'll take a shot power settings by the way for the lighting setups i'm at half power for the uh, the city 600 and we're at 128 power for the speed lights we just want a small bit of light from that speed light and there you can see that's just lifted the bottom of that brace, bracelet up quite nicely, but obviously there's still a harsh highlight. So what I tend to do to get rid of those is I'll add another bit of diffusion, but I'll put it on an angle to this one. So there's a gap at the bottom and it runs tighter at the top. So there you go from that shot, you can see how effective it is just using two lights. Now this is a really simple setup, folks. Again, keeping it nice and simple, um, but we're going to go into a little bit more of an elaborate setup now. Uh, and we're using the block prop sets again, but we'll set a lot more of them up together hopefully to give you guys more of a creative idea of how you can use it within your photography. So let's do that now. Now there's no limitation to how you can set these up folks, it's just down to your pure imagination, which is great because they're super versatile. Being able to change these colors of the block prop sets for a bespoke color you need within your product photography is ideal. So I've kept this in the rule of thirds, I've kept the watch sitting in the rule of thirds, I have the block again leading us in with the shadow and highlight, leading us into the watch and that strong colour in the background just keeps us there looking at the watch. Now for our main night, 
I'm using the City 600 above a screen that's just going to give us a nice graduated light which is going to be reflected in the shiny bracelet in the watch but my main purpose of positioning this light is the focus on the watch face I'm always mindful of that so for the background light I'm just using a 580 Mark II speed light in a snoot and that's just giving us a nice little subtle light on the background behind the watch which just gives us a nice little ball of light behind the watch which makes that pop from the image a little bit more now I'm also using a bounce card, a fill card here, which is really just reflecting the, that light and the white card back into the bracelet of the watch, lifting the shadows and giving us a nice clean look to the bottom of the watch. So for the third light, I'm using a Pika 200 in a standard reflector with a 60 degree grid. I'm also using the blocks to create shadow and highlight in the scene. As you can see from this scene here, it's just coming down. Those blocks in front are creating the shadow and there's just some of that light creeping over creating that nice line, leading line up to the watch. Um, I was mindful not to make that too strong, but with the stronger colour in the image, that's drawn our attention to the watch as well. So that is the overview of the scene. I thought I'd try something a little bit different to visually show you where the light's falling within the scene. I thought I'd make it a bit easier rather than me standing in front of it. So I hope you've liked this video, folks. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see future videos using the block prop sets, especially the next one coming up, which will be how to prepare and change the colour of the block prop sets to suit your needs within your product photography. I'm looking forward to putting that one together. So thanks very much for watching, folks, and I will see you guys in the next one. See you then.